Yo, what's up, jazz guitar friends? Larry Tamanini here with Jazz Guitar Under 5 Minutes. Hey, you just heard me messing around over a blues, and I'm here today to talk about having some fun with some chromatic 2.5s, right? I'm going to maybe use it over another standard, probably something like Autumn Leaves, on where you can implement chromatic 2.5s. You know, having the great fortune to grow up sort of in between Philadelphia and New Jersey, Trenton area, not super far from New York, a lot of great, great places to play and listen to live music. And one thing I've sort of noticed, especially about Philly and Trenton, you know, um, there happens to be like a big propensity for people to want to do this chromatic 2-5 thing. And I like to re I like to do it all the time. Uh, yesterday, I did a video of Days of Wine and Roses, and pretty much every time when it gets to the going into the uh, second A section, you, know, you kind of have that part where it's just like. Uh, and then usually you're just going to play this G minor, C, and to the one, right? But I always went A flat, D flat, G, C. I just think it's a great way to create tension. It's something that I'm familiar with. A lot of people say, you know, you should, you can do it, but don't do it to death. I do it to death as much as I can because it's fun. And I like to try to put it in interesting places, like a blues. All right, so I started out by playing just a B-flat blues, right? Now, you know, on some gigs, you're just going to play, you know, one, four, five, and, like, that's cool. But if it's a jazz gig and you can stretch out, especially if it's a solo gig, why not play more stuff? Maybe not off the bat, but it's certainly something to lead up to, you know? So right off the bat, going into this blues, I pretty much played that chromatic 2-5 uh, to give myself a little bit of momentum. A lot of people would just kind of start maybe on the last two bars, you know, or, or play a turnaround, or a turnaround that would be a one bar turnaround, which is kind of what I did. But again, I, I, instead of making it a one bar turnaround where it's two, five, I went C sharp, F sharp, C, F, right, to my five. And then, you know, a lot of people go to a four. A lot of people also in, a, in like a jazz blues will play the one and then they'll play a, another two five there, right? So anytime you can do that and you have two beats where you can play a two five, you can easily make it a four beat phrase. Works well in solo guitar situations, right? Then I went to my four. So there's a bunch of different things that I can do here. So I tried to think outside the box, and I know I have, again, two bars of this four chord. And I could go up to the diminished, back to my one, but you know what? I didn't do that because I'm trying to get all 2 5 over here. So I said this E flat 7, my four, and then... Now, if I had more time, that would be cool, but... Right? So I did that. And I walked it down there, right? To my five of my two. But instead of going to my two, there's that C sharp to F sharp again. So just with that one little movement of implementing the C sharp to F sharp in a couple different spots, I've drastically altered the DNA of this blues, right? I'm a monster. I'm a mad, mad scientist. Isle of Dr. Moreau over here. Lock me up. Not really, right? So check it out. There's my second chorus where I pretty much did sort of the same thing. Now this one's like nothing new. Everybody goes down from the fourth chord in chromatic two fives, right? A lot of people call this a bird blues, but it's just two fives that are already built in for you, right? And I think 
the third time through, I just tried to play a couple of different stuff. I might have gotten a little carried away uh, on this turnaround where I tried to go something like that. But hey, when you're in the lab and you're trying stuff, you're going to make some mistakes. For all you jazz musicians out there that are scared to make mistakes, when you're playing an improvised art form, there's going to be some bad notes. You live with it, you move on. If it's not like a record, you know, it's okay. Hey, you're really trying. If you're not making mistakes, are you really playing? Are you really just improvising? There's a big difference between really playing and getting inside the music and then being in regurgitate mode. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're trying to get better, you're going to have to go for stuff. So where are some other places I can use this 2-5 idea? Okay, so Autumn Leaves is a great example. Now, a lot of people will play Autumn Leaves like this, and, and uh, here's your first eight bars. C minor, F, you know, there's your 2-5 of the one, and then you have your 2-5 of the relative minor, right? Which is where it goes. So if I use this small sample of where I could do it, little by little. All right, well, here's the first one. This is one that a lot of people do, and instead of going two, five, one, they're gonna go C, F, and then there's your little two, five action, B minor, E, B flat, E, which is gonna take me right here, okay? Uh, here's your next one. So what did I do there? I kind of did the same thing I did on the blues. C sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C to F to B flat, right? Now can I go super mad turbo 2-5 mode and go... Maybe at that point, like I'm kind of really messing with the integrity of the song. And if I'm trying, if I'm playing at a jam session or playing with musicians that I don't know that well, I probably won't do that. Now, is there another part on that song where I can do that? Absolutely. After I go to the bridge. Oh, I'm sorry, the B section. Now again, after I played those, you know, first four bars of the minor 2-5, it's supposed to go, right? And then my last eight bars, right? So hold up. So now I went like this. Here we go. C sharp, F sharp, C, F, B, E, B flat, E flat. So there's a really cool way to just kind of get some interesting two fives in your playing. Chromatic two fives. It's a very jazzy thing to do, bebop. And it's something that, you know, you really don't need a book to like get this going. All you really need is just get some, play a tune that you really know, that maybe you're tired of playing because you know it so well and try to throw these two fives in someplace. Even if it's just like a simple tune like that's in C, and you play this one, six, two, five, you can just go, right? That's not too bad, right? Uh, another thing that you could do along here is double that up. Uh, so that would be, let me see. be a little too much but it could probably work pretty well over a ballad so all right jazz guitar friends i want to say thanks again if you made it this far thanks so much for hanging out i appreciate all the amazing youtube support comments kind words even when people like to leave comments that aren't so nice i just appreciate you hanging out for these videos don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button 
I'll be back with some more stuff later this week. Keep swinging. Beep up.